Minister Antimia, let's talk a little bit about regional cooperation because mm. uh, the cooperation between China and the uh, Pacific Island countries have enjoyed long-lasting friendship and also the cooperation between the two sides have been promoted in over 20 areas. So what impact do you think the enhancing ties between China and Nauru will help to contribute to strengthening the relations between China and those countries? One of the discussions I had with the foreign minister of uh, China's great assistance to the PIFs. I think it'll be strengthened much, much more with Nauru now being part of that, of the One China Principle group. I think the other countries who have not yet recognized the One China Principle should also, the other Pacific countries, should also change allegiances and recognize the One China policy because it'll be for their advantage. And then you will have a whole PIFs united under the One China Principle. For those countries who haven't um, restored or established diplomatic relations in the Pacific uh, area, mm. what would be your advice to them? Change. Change for what? Change. Change for the better. Mm -hmm. Change for the good. Change for your development. Change for your economic future. Change for the initiatives that China has instituted and initialized in other countries around the world. And one thing I have found with China mm -hmm. is that they see you as an equal partner. Indeed. They don't see you as a junior, they mm -hmm. don't see you as a senior, they see you as an equal partner. I've seen my treatment, I'm a foreign minister, but they've treated exactly every single foreign minister, from any, whether you're a big country, or whether you're a small country, equally right. the same. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no disparity. And that's amazed me. But I guess that comes from a history of diplomacy that the Chinese people have got.